everybody. Today's Oopsie Daisy video is going to be unboxing our New Year for 2020 subscription box. So um, this is the Roaring Twenties Love Daisy box. Um, I'm really excited about this one. This one has been something I've been thinking about doing for a really, really long time. So it's really nice to see it all come together. Um, I'm going to talk you through what's in the box. Um, and then I'll go through uh, one of the little makes that's in the box and, and show you some examples of what I've put together. If you haven't yet received your Love Daisy box, then stop the video now. If you want it to be a surprise, um, this will be some spoilers for you. Um, Everyone in the UK should hopefully have received their boxes by now, but I think potentially for those in the US and the rest of the world, it may have taken a little bit longer. Excuse me, I'm a little bit snuffly. I have got cold still. Um, so here we go. I'm going to undo the box. Okay. Unboxing. So this one is a little bit different to the boxes that we've had before in that it is not wrapped in tissue paper this time. It's all in a little bag. This is because I've got these great gold bags um, and you'll see that there's a bit of a theme to the contents um, of this month's box or this quarter's box. I'm going to open it up and show you everything that's inside. Now, if you missed out on the, the New Year box, we do have a few left over, not a huge amount, but a few. Um, I'm going to be uploading those um, at the same time as I upload this video. So if you like what you see and you want to order this box ready for your New Year planning, then there'll be a link down below um, in the description for um, the remaining few that I have. Um, so, yeah, snap them up quickly. Okay, are you ready? I'm not going to put it all out at the same time because that will ruin the surprise. So, as always, you have a list of everything that's in the box. Um, I'm going to come back to those in a second. The most important thing, or from my point of view, the most important thing, the thing that I spend the most time on is the stencils. So we're going to look at those first. These ones are punched um, to go into a storage folder. Um, you always get the option to either have them punched or unpunched um, at checkout. The first stencil is a Art Deco themed alphabet. So we sent out a survey after the last quarterly box and asked basically what you guys wanted in future boxes and something that came up time and time again was more alphabets more fonts so this one has been done with the art deco roaring 20s theme in mind um i can think of loads of different ways that i'm going to use this either just putting the the letters to indicate the days of the week or for headers on pages um i really like this font it's a little bit different to um previous stencils in that it's yeah a, a completely different take on the 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 font thing um the circles and the art deco theme to it so that's the first stencil second stencil is this black um again another art deco vibe the idea with this is that you can use these shapes to create art deco patterns so this i don't know if you can see it very well probably better on a plain background so the the circles here or the half circles you can repeat up so there's a, a very famous art deco pattern which repeats these and the the next layer would be there um kind of moon rises over or sunrises. um so you can use that stencil to to pattern up across a whole page or just around the edge as a border these I thought would be great for kind of task boxes and you can also use this square. It fits over that corner nicely because a lot of the Art Deco patterns are kind of layered lines. This could be a header again um, or a page border and these again can work as page borders. I think with like a line going through the middle. There's loads of ways I think that you could use the elements that are on this stencil to create an Art Deco theme. And then the third stencil 
is more Art Deco shapes, really. This one is designed to be used as a tracker. There are 31 shapes in this, so you could use it as your, your monthly tracker for something. Colour in a box for your mood or colour in when you achieve something. Um, there's a space here, so you could put a title in there, so it could be a cover page. Um, and again, this could be used as part of a border or header. Um, it's it's lots of repeats of those Art Deco shapes. So you can use pieces of this um, or the whole thing in its entirety, depending on what you want to create in your, in your spread. So yeah, this is the third stencil. So these are your three stencils that were within the Roaring Twenties box. Pop those over there. So along with the stencils, you always get a project pack. So the project pack for this quarter is a make your own project pack. Um, it's for a Gatsby Gam page marker. So we basically got, I'm going to open this one up, a selection of elements to create page tabs. So you have a tassel, I'll undo this and show you. I'm a bit fiddly trying to do this while I'm keeping my hands in shot. So yeah, this little tassel, it's very 1920s. Some black and gold ribbon. Um, this one's got a gold edge to it. And then a gold one and a velvet one. And you've got a couple of pearls see those um and three gold large paper clips and the idea of this is that you'll put them together in in a million different ways and i've just quickly before i started recording created three different page markers this is the first one i'm hoping that it's focusing okay so pearls and a little bit of the the velvet ribbon um this one i created is a bit more of a swingy tassel um, with the gold ribbon and the tassel. And then a really simple one, which is just some velvet ribbon. Um, I'll show you those in my book so that you can see how they would look. So, yeah, they're basically to use as page markers. So either, oh, I'm failing to do this in short, I'm sorry come back up in a second so these are me using my page markers that i just created just then the idea would be that there's loads of different ways that you can put together these elements and they will match the rest of the Art Deco theme that we've got going on at the moment. So that's the, the project pack. Let's move all these little bits out of the way. Okay, so the stencils, the project pack, and the next thing are our accessories. You always get four accessories. Um, within each Love Daisy box. So the first of those, you've got some gold lettering stickers. Um, again, you'll see that black and gold features a lot with this box. Um, it's very Art Deco. These can be added to the front of your journal or the spine of your journal or inside for a spread. We have some black and gold page um so, sorry photo corners for adding um photos and other elements into your journal so they are adhesive on the back and they go for around the corner of a photo you then have your pearl themed pen again gold with pearls very art deco keeping the whole theme together and the washi tape that i've got again has got that semicircle Art Deco, I don't know, I hope you can see that okay, um, theme to it. So all very black and gold. So that's the accessories. I'm going to pop those over there. We'll come back to those in a second. And then the final things within the journal are our, our stickers and our printables. So first of all, I'm going to do the stickers. 
I'm really excited about these. Um, I spent a lot of time working on them. These are our monthly calendar stickers, Art Deco themed um, for 2020. So you've got January 2020 through to March 2021. There's actually 15 on the sheet. They are, I'll show you the, the sticker, square like this. Ooh. Hopefully that's focusing. Oh, sorry if it isn't, I can't really see. Um, so you can use those for a future log. That's what I've used my set for. Um, or on your monthly spreads, loads of different ways you can use them. I actually, because I love these so much, I'm going to be uploading this as a, an option within the Love Daisy shop um, for 2020. So the Art Deco themed stickers are going to be coming soon to buy separately. Um, and then alongside those, you've also got a monthly habit tracker. And that's 15 of the same sticker. And it's basically... Um, you can use it as a habit tracker for the month for an individual task. Um, every day that you do something, you colour it in. So you could use it for a weekly habit tracker and have four, uh, sorry, five habits, or you can use it for one habit for the, the whole month. So that's your two stickers. Now, another thing that we've got from the feedback from the, the last box is that people wanted to see colouring pages. So created this roaring 20s welcome to our roaring 2020s coloring page the idea would be that you can color this in and you can use it as a cover page in your journal so um you can trim it to fit and it can be the the beginning of your journal um or you can just use it as a coloring page and just enjoy doing it it's completely your choice as always um so that's our 2020 coloring page um, I've also slightly adjusted the word of the year um, printable and made it Art Deco themed again to fit in. So for the new year, quite often within bullet journaling, we come up with a word that is going to um, capture what we want to achieve out of the, the next year. And this is the method to kind of get to the word. So first of all, you look back at the previous year. So look back at 2019. What went well? What do you want to do more of? keep it really positive and then imagine the next 12 months what do you want to achieve and how do you want to feel come up with some words there and then shortlist looking at your kind of feelings above shortlist the first 10 words that kind of capture those feelings and then target and pick your word of the year take a look at your shortlist and use your gut instinct to pick your your 2020 mantra so again this can be added into your journal or you can just use it as a worksheet to work through to capture your word of the year um these two principles as always for those that um subscribe to love daisy quarterly boxes all of our printables from the boxes and our worksheets from the boxes are all available in the members only area for you to download as many times as you want free of charge we also add them to our shop but they are chargeable for for non-subscription members so it's a little perk of having the membership so that's basically everything within the box i'm just going to go through it all again capture it all in front of you so we've got our 2020 art deco monthly stickers our art deco habit trackers our roaring 20s coloring page cover page um our word of the year um worksheet um that's just the list that tells you everything that's in there you've got the gold stickers gold letter stickers you've got your picture corner stickers you've got your gold and pearl pen um oh roll away and you've got your gold washi tape art deco washi tape you have your three stencils so your art deco element stencil your art deco lettering stencil and your art deco um tracker or yeah cover page stencil and then the other three things that you've got is basically a pack to create these um your um do it yourself make your own gatsby gun page markers so this is everything that's included within the box i've really loved putting this together and i like seeing it all together because i think it looks really cohesive as a a group of items it's all very gold and black and art deco themed um yeah pop your thoughts below i can't wait to hear your feedback um we always try to take your feedback and improve on what we've created this time for the next box we haven't actually got a theme for the next box yet and i need to be working on that very soon it's been a bit hectic here um so any ideas for the march box theme 
pop them on the video below. We'd love to see them. Um, and yeah, thanks very much. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we've got lots more content coming with, with the new year and setting up um, our new year bullet journal. So there's loads more to come. Thank you very much for, for watching. Take care.